All right, let's do our warm ups first. So feet and hip width apart, toes straight ahead, spread them out. No gripping, sitting bones toward the floor, core activated, shoulders back and down. And I'm kind of reaching to the ceiling. And just feel that spine starting to open up. Keep that inner focus as you proceed, drawing in energy and awareness, and exhaling stress, tension, whatever else. And inhaling, bring your arms to shoulder level, stretch the fingertips out. Exhale, hands to your heart, elbows back. Stretch to the front, keep the shoulders down, and then bring your hands behind you, just fingertips clasped. Push them down as you lift your heart and pin them over. Come into your forward position as deeply as your back would like. And bend your knees a little if you need to, or straighten them and stretch the back of your legs more. You move your chin around them, release your neck and shoulder area a little bit. And then starting at the bottom of the spine, wind your way back up and into the back and once more in that upper body. Stretch your head back, lift your heart, keep breathing. And inhale upright, release your arms and back into mountain pose. Take a moment feeling your body, a little more circulation starting. And again, reaching out at shoulder level, hands to your heart, stretch to the front, and clasp your hands the opposite way behind you. Take a stretch, lift in your heart, and pin it over. And again, just deepen as much as you'd like. Lift the sitting bones maybe for a little extra stretch on your legs. Keep releasing any tension. And again, with the chin slightly in and the knees slightly bent, work your way back up. And another back bend, lift and go out. Spread your toes, keep breathing. And on an inhalation, come up, release your arms. And again, just observe your body's response. And then let's keep one hand down, the other one down, palm toward the ceiling, and the back of the shoulder. And stretch the hands away, lean to the side, no twist. Look up toward that hand to make sure you're not leaning forward. And push the foot you're leaning away from there. Feel those ribs expand. And then inhale back up and release the arm. Feel the side a little different from the other side, so let's balance it out. Arm out, palm toward the ceiling, hand above your shoulder. Push the hands away, lean, no twist, and just deepen into that by pushing your foot down. Lengthen out through the hand and the head, feel that whole side really stretch. Inhale back upright and release into that pose. Notice you're a little bit more open on the sides. Now let's open the spine for our twist. So we'll Facing the skull, face the the spine stretching. Arms at shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders, and clasp your elbows. Stretch the spine apart and exhale. Open the Take a breath. And then exhale. Keep the weight on both feet as evenly as you can. Just deepen into that forward position as much as you can. Spread your toes. Keep your arms by your ears and stay in your twist. Work your way slowly back up and into that upper body for the back bend. Always gentle in the way back while you're twisting. Elbows back, chest. Inhale upright. Exhale around to the center and switch your arms. And again, shoulders down, spine stretching apart and twist to the other side. And the other breath. That's it. And again, just deepen as much as you'd like. Check that weight distribution on your feet. Lift your sitting bones maybe a little more. And then slowly work your way back up in the twist into the upper body. Shoulders down, elbows back, and shoulders. Take a breath or two, relaxing. Inhale upright, exhale around to the center, bring your arms up, 
stretch those fingertips toward the ceiling and extend them down. Sink evenly into the base of the toes and heels. And relax the shoulders. And then pivot, hinging at your hips, coming into parallel to the floor, just everything straight. And dropping the rug. And just hang. Or pull back a little bit more with your hands behind your legs, get a little more low back stretch. And then arms to the front, knees slightly bent, and again, wind your way back into the abdominals. Take a moment, feeling that energy circulating through your body a little bit more. Stretch the spine apart. And we'll swing just gently side to side, follow your hands, going from one end all the way around to the other, just getting that spine a little bit more lubricated. And then back to the center, and for your shoulders, that stroke and sweep. Bring the arm in close to your ear, and let your whole body have a little bit of motion as you go around. And then bring both arms up. We'll do that side stretch for Roxanne. Come up on the opposite toe so the heel is lifted. The other side of the foot is flat where you're stretching it. Release that and to the other side. Get a really good stretch to that side. And then both feet down, both arms up. Clasp your hands and press the palms up. And again, hinge at your hips. Push the hands out as you come all the way to parallel to the floor. Sitting bones, palms reach away, and then pivot back up. Shoulders still down, release your arms, and back into your knees. Circle the shoulders around, both ways. And release. Focus on your ribs, circle them around. So remember, keep the shoulders and the hips pretty much where they start. You just really work that midsection of your torso. Circle both ways, so reverse the direction. And let's take a moment as you feel what's going on in your body. And then let's start at the end of the mat. Hands to your heart. Look at them and bring them toward the ceiling. Follow them back down, all the way pivoting over. And then the rag doll. Slide your hands up under your knees. Do the halfway up stretch. Do everything straight. Shoulders toward your waist. And sitting bones and crowns stretching apart. Bend your knees, bring your hands under your shoulders. We're going to step the right foot into the lunge position. So a big step. Back. Front knee over your ankle. Make sure it doesn't push beyond your toes. You're on the base of the toes behind you. That's the ball of your toes, Jessica. <laughs> and push back through the heel. Feel that hip flexor starting to stretch. And then bring the knee down toward the floor. Pad if you need to. We're trying to go a little bit above the kneecap, not on it. And feel the hip Stretch a little more, and then bring your hands one at a time to that front knee, and sink even further down through that hip. So everything goes straight down to the floor. If you want a little more, you can look up and bring your chest forward and your shoulders down, a little bit of a back bend, which increments that stretch on your hip flexor a little more. And then hands to the floor, Tuck your toes under, come onto the base of the toes, push back through the heel, feel that stretch, and then push forward. Ragdoll, take a breath. Feel that release on the hip, and roll your way up, and then into mountain pose. Feel the difference on the two sides, so we need to do the other side. I'm turning around, you don't have to. So again, hands to your heart, Look at them as you bring the hands toward the ceiling. Follow those thumbs back into the back bend. Exhale, hands to your heart, pivoting all over into your ankle. 
Take a breath, slide your hands up under your knees on your shins, halfway up, stretch. Spread your toes. Bend your knees slightly, bring the hands under your shoulders to the floor, left foot back into lunge. And again, check that knee, make sure it's not going out to the side or sinking in, just right above your ankle. Spread your toes, push back through the heel and out through the crown. And feel that hip flexor on your wrist, that left leg is starting to stretch. And then knee down to the floor, just above the kneecap or on a pad. Slide those toes further back for extra stretch. Exhale, sink your hips straight to the floor. And when you're ready, bring your hands to the front knee and sink down a little bit more through the hip. Round toward the ceiling or lift your heart a little bit more and look up as you pull your shoulders down. Take a breath, sink a little bit more. And then hands back on either side of the foot under your shoulders. Tuck your toes, come onto the base of the toes and push back through your heel. Get that good stretch through that hip. And then push forward and release the hip. Move forward down. Take a breath. Exhale. Hands together. Come on all the way up. One more back bend, lifting your hands and following them behind you. Exhale, hands to your heart, and back into mountain pose. So a little more stretch through that front of the hips, and shoulders back and down, round to the ceiling. Take a breath, and bring your hands to your heart. Inhale toward the ceiling, another back bend, because we love back bends, and exhale over. Drop in the red doll, come into that halfway up stretch, and bend your knees, coming all the way to the floor, hand child splits. Hands next to your feet, forehead to the floor, and then just let those shoulders roll to the front. Take a moment and breathe. Tension out. And then coming into kneeling position. We're going to stretch those again with the camel pose. So if you need padding under your legs for this, because it can be a little intense on the knees for some people, you can do that. Come all the way up so your hips are right above your knees. And then take your hands onto your low back, heels of the palms up, lower shoulder blades, fingertips down toward your hips. Rotate your elbows toward each other, and then lift your heart and look up. So supported version. Take a moment, just keep those hips forward and push your head a little further back, keeping those hips right above your knees. Toes straight back and feel that stretch a little bit more through that whole front of your body. Then chin toward your chest, release your hands, and pivot back over into child's pose. Take a breath, feel the release. And exhale tension. And then again, inhale and come on back up. Hips open right above your knees. Hands again supporting you, and elbows toward each other. Leaning back just slightly into your supported camera. And then you can drop one hand down to your heel. And if that works, you can bring it back up and support. And then do the other side. Keep pushing your hips forward toward your knees. And back support. And if you loved that and you want to do both of them together, you can. You can keep the legs, the feet flat, or you can tuck your toes and lift your heels a little bit if you want them closer. So one hand back and then the other, lifting your heart, or you can keep the feet flat and do the same thing. Push those hips over your knees, whichever version you're in. Chest up. Keep breathing, and then hand to your back, and the other one, 
And again, sink over into a release in Shana's toes. Take a breath. Just relax. And she And then bring your hands to the front, to the sides of the mat. Pivot it up, slide the feet back. Roll all the way up onto your belly. And rest in front of the Head to one side, shoulders down, hands, palms up at your side. Take a breath or two. And on the next exhalation, turn your head, stretching the neck the opposite way. And again, take a moment, just reclined integration here, sinking down into that surface beneath you. And then bring your face toward the floor. Turn your hands, palms down. Slide your chin forward. And we'll do a locust. So slide the right toe or both toes back. And then the, focus on the right foot. Keep it stretching it out through the base of the toes as you lift that leg. Straight leg, hips both down to the floor. And just let that hip flexor again get a little bit of stretch as you lift that. And you're strengthening your lower back as well. Shoulders down, chin forward, unless you can't stand it on your neck, in which case you can put your forehead down. Lift maybe the leg a little higher, and as much stretch as it feels good for you. And then stretching out still through the toes, lower that leg back to the floor. Tuck your forehead down, give the back of the neck a good stretch as we get ready to do the other leg. The toes straight back from your hips. Reach out through the toes of the left leg, especially as you lift the left leg up. Again, the knees stay straight, the hips stay down, and the leg just rises as much as you'd like it to. Take a breath, chin forward, leg up, shoulders down. Stretch it out, maybe a little higher. Keep breathing. And reaching out. And then on an exhalation, slowly lower the leg. When it gets all the way down, forehead to the mat. Give a good stretch to the back of your knee. Exhale, tension. And of course, we're going to do both legs together. So you can keep your hands where they are or clasp them under you for a little extra support. Shoulders staying down, slide that chin forward again. Press your hips, shoulders down into your arms, hands, and the floor. Stretch the toes back. And again, legs straight. Just bring those legs up off of the floor as much as you want. Keep pressing down into your hips, into your hands and arms, out through the toes, and chin slide into it. Get that whole front of your body getting a good stretch, especially through that hip area. And notice that your back is doing the work. So just be gentle if you need to. Take a breath, maybe a little higher, maybe a little further out with those toes. And then slowly lower your arms. And when they touch, release your arms, bring your hands under your shoulders, push back into child's pose for a nice little forward bend release through that hip area. And do it. Take a breath or two, just relax, tension. And then bring your arms to the front. Pivot it up into table. Move your hands a little forward. And your feet rolling up onto the base of the toes in plank position. So activate that hip area. Kind of slightly lift it if you need to. Make sure you're not sinking through your low back. Shoulder blades toward your waist, chest toward the floor. Ankles, knees, hips, and shoulders lined up. And just let that core activation support your midsection as you're in the feet. 
And then roll the tops of your feet to the floor. Keep your hands where they are. Sink your hips down, coming into up dog. So you're getting a good stretch again on that front of the thigh, hip flexor area as you sink the hips down toward the floor. Knees are straight, lifted off the floor. <laughs> and you're breathing. And then drop your knees to the floor. And roll your whole belly all the way back into resting crocodile. Hands at your side. Just release any tension in your arms and hands. You can circle your wrists. Exhale, head to the opposite side. Shoulders down, just relax. And then forehead toward the floor. And again, hands under your shoulders. And one more forward child's pose position. Just release that hip area. Take a breath. Shoulders relaxing and breathe. And then inhale, sitting up. Bring your legs to the end of the mat. Sitting bones slightly behind you, core activated. We're going to slowly roll all the way to the And as you come onto your back, just take a moment to relax those shoulders down. Hands, palms up at your side, a little inclined integration. And then turn your hands, palms down next to your hips. Sitting bones toward your heels, pressing your back gently down. Pull your heels in right next to your sitting bones, feet flat on the floor. Release and relax the shoulders down. Press your back to the floor as you exhale, feel that core working. And then as you inhale, lift the hip bones toward the ceiling. Remember, keep your knees hip width apart. Don't let them spread apart or sink them together. Roll up onto the tops of your shoulders and lift your hips right there through those hip bones. Get a good stretch on the front of your body. Remember, you're on the back of your head, not your neck. You can clasp your hands underneath, push your arms and hands into the floor, and work up even higher onto your shoulders if that works for you. Make sure those knees aren't spreading apart. Keep them straight up toward the ceiling. Shoulders are supporting you. Feet are evenly supporting you. Those hips are lifting evenly toward the ceiling. Take a breath, maybe a little higher with the hips. Release your hands, release your shoulders. Onto the shoulder blades, onto the ribs, onto the whole back, everything touching down onto the floor. Take a breath. Exhale, air retention. We're going to do the same thing again. This time, when you clasp your hands under your, you want to switch those fingers one position over. So, hands start, palms down, feet hip width apart, knees hip width apart, keep them hip width apart. As you press your back down, exhaling, and then inhale those hip bones straight up. Press into your shoulders, not your neck, and all the way up, lifting those hip bones maybe a little higher. Press your hands under you with the other finger outside, and again, higher onto your shoulders if that works for you. Ribs are lifting, hip bones are really lifting, getting that same stretch through those hip flexors. As you rise through the pelvis and full front of your body. Take a breath, relax into it, and then releasing your hands, release your shoulders. Again, roll your spine slowly down to the floor. And this time you can bring your knees up toward your heart. And Make little circles with your back, going both directions, releasing that front of your thigh area where we were stretching. And then feet to the floor, hands out to T position for our twist. So shoulders, shoulders, shoulder blades down. Press the back to the floor and just lift your feet off the floor. We'll do our regular bending twist. 
So just roll the knees over to one side, keep the shoulders down, turn your head toward that opposite arm. Knees coming toward the floor for your low back as much as your twist wants to work. Head turning for your neck area twist and keeping those shoulders down for that middle back. Take a breath, exhale and relax. If you want a little more low back work, you can bring those knees up toward your elbow, extend your feet back away from you. Take a breath, rest release. Let the twist happen, remember, never force it. Exhale and just release and tightness. Heels toward your hips and roll all the way onto your back. You can bring the feet to the floor if you need to straighten out. And we're going to twist, of course, to the other side. Hands, palms up or down, your choice. Roll those knees right at hip level over toward the floor. Turn your head, look at the arm behind you. And again, keep the shoulders down as much as you can so your whole spine is working into your twist. Take a breath. Just let things release and relax. And if you love that low back area being twisted, you can bring the knees up toward your elbow and extend those legs and feet out toward your hand. Take a breath. Just relax into your twist in whichever version you're in. We'll let gravity do the work. Exhale into the chin. And then pulling your heels back toward your hips. Roll all the way onto your back. Bring your feet to the floor. Slide them out. And at your sides, palms up. Coming into corpse position for our relaxation. So just sink your whole body into that surface beneath you. Focus a little bit on that hip and leg, the upper leg, pelvis area. Breathe into it and just let it soften. Angle your toes slightly toward each other and then just let your legs relax. Whole lower body just softening and growing heavy. Just let it sink deep into that surface beneath you. Hands, palms up so that shoulders can release down into the surface beneath you as well. Take a breath, soften your belly, your whole upper body. Move your jaw, release your chin, and your neck, and your face. And you're just softening, sinking into that surface supported by the earth, and let your body go. As you breathe deeply, just exhale <clears throat> any remaining tension. And as you release your body, just let thoughts of your body release from your awareness. As those thoughts disappear, other thoughts will come to your mind. Let them go as well. It's the job of your mind to keep reducing thoughts. It's your choice whether to pay attention. At this moment, just let the thoughts flow in and out as easy as you can. And as your mind drifts and your body sinks, just allow your awareness to release both your body and your mind. Allow your awareness to sink deep within, finding that peace. Filling your body, filling your mind. And just take a few moments to be in peace.
Thank you, Gail. Thank you for relaxing today. Thank you so much, John, as you have the opportunity. It's time to get ready for the rest of your day. Just to enjoy an energy and awareness with the breath back to the moment, to the room, to your own. And as you breathe more deeply, just begin moving your body gently, however it feels good for you today. And as you breathe more deeply and stretch more completely when you're ready for your final yoga of appreciation, sitting bones towards your heels, and your heels up towards your hips, and your knees in towards your heart. Feel that release through your hips. Give yourself that appreciative yoga hug. Put your body in and appreciate its work today in yoga and the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready to release, head and feet to the floor, roll over to the side and sit back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead for you today. Thanks for joining me.